Well, welcome to another edition of Fun with the Facklers. And like in any other great adventure, you have to be flexible. All the train tickets and bus tickets were full, so we ended up renting a car and driving all the way to Madrid. we had to figure out the transit system and then to our apartment for the week. Our apartment was right next to the busy shopping district, the opera house, the castle, and any other sites you would like to see. It was still over 100 degrees but our apartment had air conditioning and this did not stop the tourists and others from people from shopping. Madrid has about three and a half million people. Lolly and I are not huge lovers of big cities, but we really enjoyed our time in Madrid and just walking around the city. Everything was very clean and all the tour guides were very friendly. We could not have asked for a better adventure. did run across a great open air market, San Miguel, and there were many, many things in here that we had not seen before. And as you can tell, it was very busy and a lot of tourists buying things. One of the days we visited the cathedral and the Spanish palace. And like most things like this, it's really too big to take very many pictures. You just walk around and off. And like all great palaces in Europe and also in the United States, we have to have a huge garden. several days just going to the museums. The Prada was one. I did not do any video there. We just took in the sights. A smaller museum that most people don't go to is the Naval Museum. We found it really interesting and as a past navigator they had a lot of interesting things. They had many maps and of course a great selection of sextants. I could have spent all day just looking at the navigation equipment and the maps. They also had a great collection of models of wooden ships and went all the way up to the current carriers. The museum has a great mix of old artifacts and actually some newer ones for between the wars. One of the fun exhibits was what it would look like if you were in a captain's quarters of an 1800 sailing ship.
we just crossed over the river. We're in Madrid. We're doing a practice walk to the bus station. So when we leave in a day, we know where we're going. That's what it looks like. And this is on the bridge looking the other way. And there's a bunch of cranes. I don't know what they're building besides buildings. I don't know what they're for. Well, every day we walk anywhere from two to six miles. And even though it was close to 100 degrees, there were many areas that were in the shade until the families were out having fun. And like in most cities, there were people running around in costumes, very willing for you to take their picture if you gave them some money. And of course, we had to take a break and have waffles, ice cream, beer, and a soda. There's a very large monument to Alfonso XII. He was the King of Spain between December 29th, 1874, and he died in 1885. He was only 27 years old when he died of dysentery, and he actually is the last King of Spain to ever die in office. His son then became the King and ruled for over 45 years. Madrid is the capital of Spain, there are many embassies, and while we were walking around, we actually ran into a protest, and what about the war in Ukraine? Well, it's time to say goodbye to Madrid and head on to our next adventure. Stay tuned.